Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi, viewers. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Good to have you in Career Growth with Karen. Welcome to this channel where we engage in empowering conversations that cause us to elevate our careers. So if that's what you're looking for, then you're in the right place. Please sit back and enjoy our content. If you're coming here for the first time, please make sure that you go and watch all the other episodes that we have done and also subscribe to this channel, like the content, comment on it and share with your network so they can also benefit from what you're benefiting from. Now, in the last episode, I had mentioned that I will give you four tips that will move your CV from good to great. And what do I mean by this? Guys, you want to stand out. Your CV is representing you and you want to stand out. So how can you move your CV from good to great? And that is our content for this day. So let's get started. with Karen. So guys, this is feedback by the way. <laughs> it's feedback from all those who've been sending me their CVs to review. I have been giving you this feedback and I thought, how about I just talk about this so that everyone out there who has not yet, you know, either come to me or gone to any other person to, for a CV revamp, you can already hear about this and you can also know so that you can, in your own home, in your own space, you can work on your CV. So with last week's episode where we were talking about the four mistakes that you make on your CV and today's episode, that is the tips uh, to include in your CV. When you combine those two episodes together, you will be able to edit your CV and move it from good to great. So the first thing, please ditch the colors guys ditch the colors ditch all the fancy fonts ditch all those creative design that you do just keep it simple and what do i mean by that i know some of us are using even even uh, i think there's applications or some kinds of softwares that you input the information and when you download your cv it comes in all this manner of colors and some fonts that are fancy and even some of you are still including pictures in your cvs guys in 2023 really really unless unless if it's a media job and i'm yet to i've, I've never really you know worked in the in the media space especially in um uh, in, in TV and I don't know how their CVs look like, but everywhere else you still have a picture on your CV, wrong. You still have colors and fonts, uh, fancy fonts on your CVs, please just avoid all of that. Use a uniform font all through your CV. You know the usual fonts, the Calibri, the Tahoma, the Times New Roman, simple font, use it all through your CV. The only thing you can do is maybe bold an area, sometimes you can italize if it's something that's not serious, but please keep your CV, your CV as simple as possible now i don't know this is such a sensitive issue to 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 talk about but sincerely i work in a hr department and recently there's a, a colleague of mine who told me she knows she can tell you this cv has been done by this person this cv has been done by this person because those people who revamp your cvs they have a standard format that they use so especially for like entry level hey you find like 100 CVs, all of them with the same format. And you know, these ones, all of them are clients of so-and-so. Uh, well, for me, I don't know whether what to say about that. Uh, what I can say is, please receive... Let when somebody is looking at your CV, let them review and tell you what have you included, what have you not included, what is good. Let them give you that extra eye, but don't allow them to use those applications where they just auto download a CV in PDF and it has all these things that HR don't like to see, and then they give you that, and you can't even edit it further. So please make sure that they just give you input. For example, they can tell you you haven't included your achievements. What were your achievements here? Your timelines are not adding up. You haven't put the the, the necessary skills or this skills that you have put are very basic they are all ms excel inter, uh, interpersonal skills you know you want to they they can help you you know think about other more uh, succinct skills that you can put they can structure your profile better and all of those things but don't allow them to put those cvs in those formats because it's just a turn off to hr most of the time those design software that you're using guys please let's just keep it simple as simple as it can be with the with the cvs that's number one Number two, state achievements for every experience that you have. In every experience that you, you have had, please, what were your achievements? And why am I saying this? It's because 
all of us do the same job. For example, I'm HR where I am. There's another HR and another HR. If we are all applying for the same job, our responsibilities, the JD is likely to be the same from company to company. Our responsibilities are the same. What is going to differentiate us is our achievement. What is it that I have personally done and achieved for my company that has moved us from level point A to point B? What is it that I have done? What are my achievements? So do not take these achievements and cluster them all either at the beginning or the end. No. With every experience, this is where I was. I was in this company for three years. These are the responsibilities. This, this is what stood out. These are the achievements. They could be two or three or four. Move on to the next experience. I was in that other company before for four years. These were the responsibilities, but these were the achievements. So make sure that with every experience, you have achievements. And by that, even the person reviewing your CV is able to see if they were able to do automation for that company, maybe even here and we need automation, they would also help us in that. If they were able to maybe turn around the sales and just take the sales from, from the company from 20% profitability in this department to 40, maybe even for us, we can benefit from, from that kind of thing. So those are the things that stand out in your CV experiences the achievements please include them then number three state your leadership experiences please state your leadership experience this is a bonus for your cv and why am i saying this it's because right now we want people who are self-led especially with remote working very many companies are doing remote working you're finding that no one has the time to micromanage you and we are looking for self-led people organizations are looking for self-led people organizations are looking for people who understand responsibility understand accountability they can manage themselves they can they can also lead smaller teams where they are, they can rise to the occasion where leadership is required. They are not overly dependent on the supervisor to give direction. So if you have any of these leadership experiences, it could be in your college, it could be in even other networks like Rotary, you're in Rotary and you're the vice president, you're in a club out there and whatever leadership position you have been in, please state it there as leadership experience because that just gives you a bonus. I'll be able to see apart from this person just coming to do HR, they're also a leader. They are good at leadership and definitely I need some leadership competencies in my organization. Very few people do not want leadership competencies. So this is a bonus for you in the CV. Then put links of any external work you have done again what do i mean by this if you have done any writing of articles out there uh, for lawyers you have done cases and those cases are out there sometimes they are published in the internet put links there when i go into the links i'm able to see wow this person actually litigated on this case this person actually wrote this article and these are the views they had on on a certain professional matter of course i mean the professional matters not you sending us articles of your uh, other things that are not professional but links to even even some of you have done training programs some of you have uh, facilitated workshops and seminars and these ones have been featured on on internet and different other places so uh, write links uh, put the links there to other things that you have published that are out there i know once upon a time i did i had done an article many years ago that had gone into the newspapers and it was hr based it was about the workforce and i i normally put this in my cv and there was one time when in an interview, someone, actually one of the panelists referred to that article and told me, you wrote this in the in the standard newspaper. Tell me about it. And I was so excited that someone went and viewed an article that I had written in the standard newspaper that was related to people. And they wanted to have that conversation further. The only way they would have that conversation further is by hiring me so that they can ask me more questions about that. So sometimes it adds onto your value when I see that you're not only organization focused, you're industry focused. You're out there adding value even to other professionals through the work that you are doing. So include this. So four tips that I have talked about, ditch the colors and all the fancy fonts and all the apps that you use to do your CVs. State the achievements, your achievements after every experience. State your leadership experience, any leadership experience, and then put links of any external works you have done that are available online. Guys, that is all that I have have for you today and as i say as i said earlier if you take this content and put it together with what you watched last week you will definitely see that that uh you can review your own cv and you can revamp it and even make it better please do not forget that we always have a linkedin live every wednesday at 8 p.m to 9 p.m east africa time so if you follow me on linkedin you follow me on instagram you'll be able to get the details kindly do so because there we just have one hour of one-on-one -on -one or face-to-face 
okay virtual face to face engagement about all these hr issues and we are able to interact uh, in a more intimate way please subscribe to this channel please share the content please leave a comment below please like it and let's keep the engagement going that's all i had for today until next time see you